Hello, I'm IBX Toga, and this is episode 3 of my Minecraft Xbox 360 title update 12 survival. And in this episode, I'm going to be building a little more of the house because I can get more jungle wood uh, to, you know, get it almost complete. Because as you can see, we're, we're sort of going around right now, which means now we need oak actually. And uh, we're also going to go get iron. We're going to harvest a fish. I don't know why I said harvest, but we're going to fish a fish uh, with a fishing rod, uh, which we have right here, as you can see, fishing everywhere. Uh, we're also going to probably go ahead and. Um, I know what else we're going to do. We're just going to do lots of things. Like, things happen. That's how survival Let's Plays work, apparently. Uh, I, I really enjoy uh, survival. And I really enjoy, you know, the new things to Day 12 that make survival more interesting. Uh, or at least, they're making it more interesting right now. We're only three episodes in. Maybe by episode 5, we'll be like, okay, we've done it all. Let's just, uh, uh, let's, let's just go kill some cat. Actually, I want to see what happens when you kill a cat normally. I'm sorry to do this, guys. I just want to see what happens. Okay. I just want to see what happens. Uh, does he? Do they drop anything? No, they just drop XP. Uh, I, I, I was just curious, you know. I, I've never done it before. It's like wolves, you know, they get super crazy and angry with you and stuff. Um, I was curious if that would happen with uh, cats, but apparently not. That's that's whatever that is. So yeah, between episodes, I chopped down one of the trees that was growing, if you want to know where I got those jungle wood from. And I also uh, turned my raw meat into cooked meats. Now I'm, uh, I'm doing pretty good as far as that goes. Uh, so... Now I'm going to head down these stairs, going to get rid of a couple blocks here and there, just for the fun of it. Uh, also count every other torch, because I don't need them as much anymore. And uh, just generally being a cool guy. So now we're going to go into the mine shaft, because that seems like the best way to find ores. Uh, one, in general, and two, just uh, for this, because I need iron quite badly. For some reason, I haven't found it. Usually iron is one of the really early game materials, but you know, every now and then you get a setback like this, and you just, you work with it, you know? You don't just, uh, you give up and... Oh, God! That was interesting. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, you don't just give up and die. You you just let things do stuff. Also, it didn't hurt me at all. That's nice. Uh, so, we'll, I guess we'll light this area up a bit. Um, probably going to have to replace all the dirt now. Uh, except we're, I'm, try, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm, I'm uh, talking too fast again, you know? I, I just talk too fast and the words just turn into... But whatever... Um, no, it's it's Friday as you're watching, as I'm watch, recording this, as you're watching it, and uh, basically, uh, lots of cool things are going to be happening in the in the near future. Also, referring to it as Friday when you're watching this, it's probably a bit of a not good thing to do, because technically you can watch this at any point in history, or I guess at any point in the future, because it's not in history. You can't watch it in the past. Uh, I guess you could probably try if you had a time. You'd have to bring the video back with you through time, and then I'd, that'd get messy. Uh, but, but yeah, back, back to what I was saying, um... If you watch this at some point in the future, you're like, oh, why is he referencing the past if it's now? Is Michael Jackson still alive when he's recording this video? Uh, just a random celebrity that I know is dead. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those interesting, interesting little things. Uh, so yeah, now I've got myself lots of coal. I've got myself free iron, which is enough for a pickaxe, which means I can mine the gold that I saw on the ground. I just decided to leave it rather than mentioning it, because I was like, ah, oh, I'm never going to find iron now, but... I can now turn this into a pickaxe with all this ridiculous amount of coal that I just found right now. Uh, in addition to that, now I've got myself quite a few levels. I can do some cool stuff with that and, uh, ooh, even more. And also, there are cobwebs here, which I realised you can turn into string by doing that. I might have done that last episode, actually. No, I didn't, so... That's also a good thing, too. Lots and lots of benefits to being me. Uh, so now we've got ourselves... Oh, actually, I did do that last episode, because uh, that's how I got my fishing rod. But yeah, I'm going to get myself more string, because, you know, string is always good. I guess I can make a dispenser. Uh, this... I, I wish there was reasons to make dispensers besides duplicating, because that's all anyone really does it for. And I don't enjoy duplication, so I just don't have any reason to make it. So it's like, ah. Oh. Like, I, I can't think of any cool uses for it, really. Like, uh, I guess you could... No, I, I can't think of any actual ones. Just all fake uses. Like, I guess you could probably, uh... I don't know, pull in... Pull, use a dispenser to give you food, because you're too lazy to just go to a chest. Uh, in fact, I might do that. That's a semi-cool idea. Um, <laughs> see, now I'm using my fake ideas. Like, just have a fridge that all my food comes from. Because uh, that way I don't have to carry it with me, and I can just take out as much as I want. And uh, it's just easier than using a chest system. Uh, also, I need to get myself... Ooh, what's there? A staircase. Um, I heard a zombie, by the way, so I'm going to go back to safety. Uh, by the way, there's a flower here. Interesting little thing. But we're going to go ahead and make ourselves some torches, but we need some sticks first. Uh, so, 16 torches. That will do quite well. Uh, we'll then go back to the furnace, turn this into a pickaxe, because, uh, you know, pickaxe is good. Though I used all my sticks up, which means I can't, so we're going to have to chop down some of this wood, uh, which is conveniently just lying around for me to just uh, use as I will. Um, we'll use a torch to chop it down. Uh, we only need two bits of it to make four torches, uh, which is more than what I need, so it's all good in the hood, yo. Um, see, I can, I can speak urban like all the kids. Um, 
Then we've got ourselves sports torches, uh, four, sorry, sticks. Uh, we can make ourselves the iron pickaxe, the ultimate uh, iron tool. And uh, then also go ahead and make ourselves some more torches because brightness is good sometimes. Uh, then we're going to mine this gold because we don't need gold for anything real, but we can make gold blocks, we can make gold ingots, uh, which means we can make golden apples. Because uh, I think this is the update they changed the golden apple recipe to make there two of them. Let's quickly check. Uh, so the golden apple's all the way over here, I believe. No, where's the golden apple? I guess it's in food. Yeah, the golden apple is in food. Uh, there should be two now. No, there isn't. So they haven't changed that just yet. That's next update, maybe. Um, and I'm really excited for that, because the second golden apple, if you don't know, it's a really, really cool golden apple. Like, it does so many cool things. Like, uh, it really changes the landscape of you playing on a multiplayer PvP server. Like, if you have one, you you win. That's basically it. So it's, it's, uh, it's something worth investing in a little bit, I guess. It's a little difficult to come by, and it's... Uh, big risk to use all in ones, but you know, it's still something worth having. Also now I have enough iron for an iron pickaxe too, although I want I'll make shears first. Uh, since there are only two iron I might as well make them first. And we'll try and get we'll try and get another like I guess two or three. Ooh no not cave spiders, not cave spiders. They uh, I hate cave spiders so much. Um I think you can just light up spawners. I don't know if that's true. And also we've got ourselves a chest which has melon seeds. Those are good. Coal that's good. Bread's good. Lapis Azuli don't even care about it enough to waste an inventory space on it, because I'm running pretty low on inventory spaces, as you can probably tell, so I'm going to just ignore that for now. So we're going to get the rest of the iron I can see here, uh, as well as some coal. We're going to keep an eye out for mobs just running around, because I'm scared of those in mine shards. Like, they never usually happen, but when they do happen, they just devastate you. So if you if you keep an eye out for everything, then uh, you won't die. That's true of real life as well, like, uh, how often do you really get murdered by an axe murderer? Like, I mean... I haven't been murdered by someone wielding the axe yet, and I, I haven't even been stabbed ever. But like, stab crime is apparently on the on the on the up. So, who knows? Maybe maybe if you just watched out for stabbings, you'd never get stabbed more. Uh, I don't know what point I was trying to make there. I got like halfway distracted. Well, I'm basically trying. To ah! Jeez, that scared me so much. Um, <laughs> Uh, see, you, creepers, they're like a one in a thousand chance, but you still should probably be prepared and not just dig yourself into a corner or something. Uh, also, I hear a zombie. It might be a zombie spawner. Um, do I actually? No, I don't. Oh, you know, we'll come back for it. There's plenty of time to explore all of this place. Um, maybe it's up here? I definitely hear some... I hear lots of zombies. I don't know why, though. You know, we'll, we'll come. we'll come close. It sounds like they're coming from this way. Nope, they're below, maybe? Oh god, that's just where I was before. Uh So it looks like there's a zombie spawner somewhere nearby here. It really is hard to say which direction it is, so we'll just dig randomly. And just hope we come across it. Because I, I can't do directional sound while I'm recording, because I have my recording headset on, which doesn't really... It doesn't have game sound, if you're wondering, that's why I can't hear the subtle sounds. Uh, but it's, it's whatever that is. So now we just need to get out of here. Uh, I have no idea what the way out is. I just follow the way with no ores that are missing from the walls. Although we could take the ores as we disappear. Uh, and now we're doing pretty well always. Like, uh, I think now we just need to get ourselves some diamonds. Which, eh, it's not a near goal. Like, I don't really need diamonds. Uh, I'd rather just have an enchanted iron sword for a little bit. Actually, enchanting iron's a little silly. I, I probably won't do that. In fact, you need diamonds for enchantment table too. Darn it, I'm... Oh! What is over there? There's a creeper over there. That's what there is. Oh, here are the zombies. So... Uh, there's two of them, which is a little bit, you know, it's a little bit suspicious. What did I just use to get out oh, with my sword? Uh, so we need to use more to make a sword, or we could use the pickaxe, although I don't want to use that, actually. Uh, you know, we'll go to a quickly make, we'll just quickly make a crafting bench in the corner somewhere. Uh, should we just use jungle wood? No, we don't have jungle wood on us. So we'll come back here in a minute. We'll just try and remember it's this way. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll put torches here to remember the way. Uh, and I believe if we just head right, yes, here's my furnace, we can make ourselves an iron sword. Uh, using our infinite amounts of coal. Uh, we can also make ourselves an iron axe because I want to chop down trees, you know, because I'm a lumberjack and that's cool. Uh, so yeah, just while we're on this, well, we're not on the subject at all, but let's just completely go to a different subject. And uh, transhuman, uh, not transhuman, trans, I don't know what it's called, but when, uh, at, by 2050, uh, at which point uh, humans, I talk about this on a lot, so I want to know because it scares me, but... Um, at 2050, uh, at the current rate of technology, technological growth, uh, the best humans will... The, a computer will be a thousand times smarter than humans, which means the best things to make new computers will be computers. So, uh, like, the best... 
the, the best way to get a new computer made is to have a computer that's dedicated to building computers to make it. And uh, this is a really cool and really scary thing at the same time, because on the one hand it's like, yeah, so then technology group explodes because computers can build themselves to make themselves, to make new computers, to make, oh I made a pickaxe again, oops, my bad. Uh, but now I've got two pickaxes, so that's not too bad I guess. Um, but then uh, tech, uh, the computers will make themselves to make themselves, etc. And that's a really cool enough idea. But then it just it, it goes crazy and crazy and crazy. And then humans stop needing to exist. And uh, on the one hand, that's cool. And on the other hand, oh no, I like existing. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, so, you know, just a, a fun thing to think about in your head. I'll come back to the rest of the iron in a minute, by the way. Like, it's, it's not my primary concern right now. Uh, and also, where are the shears at? I believe they're underneath the... Oh, wait, they're right here. They're... Wait, Flint still doesn't leave shears, but oh, whatever. I, I don't care. Uh, so now we've got ourselves some shears. We can shear some sheep if we need to. Uh, no more sheep murder for me, I think you'll find. Uh, and now we've also got ourselves an iron sword, which is it's going to last a while and it's going to do some damage. So it's a, it's a, it's a best of both worlds type thing. Also, I think there is a mob spawner over there because uh, two zombies that close is a little, little suspicious if you ask me. Uh, oh, do I see one? No, I see two zombies there. Like, I, there is far too many zombies for there not to be a mob spawn or anything. Ooh, god, these are really damaging. Uh, oh, yeah, there is definitely a mob spawner nearby. It's just a matter of where, because you'd figure I'd be able to find it. So I've backed myself into a corner now, uh, which means it's easy to kill these zombies, because they're sort of trapped a little... Okay, they've trapped me, actually. I didn't figure it'd work that way. Um, so we're actually going to eat a little bit first, because we're on four hearts, which I believe is only two zombie hits, which, you know... The uh, two zombie hits, it's a reasonable amount to be hit by a zombie, so... I'm gonna stay right away from those, turn the corner, and... Yeah, okay, there is... We can confirm there is a spawner, because that's maybe the ninth zombie I've killed. And then we'll just head round here. But where is the spawner? There is no way that many zombies just spawn naturally. Or did it? Is it? There's... Is there a way that that could just happen? Maybe up here? I... How? There's no... Wait, we're gonna look around. We're going to find the root of this. Well, maybe, maybe there isn't. Yep, okay, up there, there is something. There is... There, this, this doesn't make any sense. Okay, they're coming down the hatch. There's maybe a mob spawner up there, and... Okay, I'm going to kill you. This is... This is giving me a lot of XP, so I'm not too bothered. It's just a little... Interesting. Okay, I'm scared, I'm scared. Okay, here's the mob spawner. We have finally found it. Uh, put a torch in there and now we can start attacking stuff. It's strange that they were spawning from that far away though. Usually in uh, abandoned mine shafts you don't find... Ooh, hello. How's it going, sir? Would you like a... Would you like a... Uh, I don't know, I was going to say a handshake with that, but I'm... I'm still offering him death and handshakes and death don't go that well together, so... I feel like a bit of a dick if I offered him that, really. Uh, also, now I've got ourselves a bucket. Uh, we'll put all the cobblestone we have in here, because we don't need it right now. Uh, as well as the... We'll put the yokes. No, we keep the oak saplings. Uh, the feathers can go in there, the spider eye. And then out we'll take a saddle, we'll take a bucket, and also from the other chest. There is no other chest, actually. Uh, which means we don't have to take anything from it. Boom, we've just saved ourselves some effort. Uh, so yeah, we need to get to the surface, but this was a fun ex episode of exploring caves and stuff. But I want to do some house stuff as well. I always want to get the house going. Uh, every episode I want to get that improving a little bit, uh, because that's just how I roll, yeah. Um, and basically, anything anything going on down here? No? It's just going to lead me to dead end? Yep, it's a dead end, that's good. At least I found out it was a dead end, you know, it's better than not finding out it's a dead end, I guess. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense at all. But yeah, we're going to head back to our other, uh, back to our little furnace that has all the iron going on, because that's a uh, cool little thing right there. And then we're going to head to the surface, get our house going. Uh, so I have no idea what the way back to my thing is. Uh, from the mob spawner, I think I can... Oh, it's down here, that's why. So on the mob spawner, it's a couple blocks down. In fact, I should probably, you know, make note of the coordinates of the mob spawner. Uh... Maybe dig up from it, maybe? Let's... You know, we could do that instead. Um, four tw X412 Z265. I can come back to that and remember that if I need it. But now it's... I've got the coordinates on a map somewhere. So now we can head back down here. Which means we can be safe. And uh, the world can be a happy place again. Because uh, everybody knows the world should be a happy place. Just all day, every day. Um, get some more coal because we have almost a full stack. Uh, we might as well go the whole, you know, the whole pick, the whole hog, and get an entire stack because, you know, there's there's no such thing as half measures. Well, there is such thing as half measures, but there's no good reason for half measures uh, besides the fact that maybe you're only doing half of something. I don't know. 
there are lots of real reasons for everything, really, when you think about it. Anyway, let's get back out of here. I think I can remember the... What, no, I don't remember the way in the slightest, actually. Uh, I think I went past this water. No, I didn't go down some water. Maybe I came from over here. There is a torch over here, which would... Okay, there's so many directions I could have come from. I know I went past some water, but it wasn't that distracting water. Oh, wait. Uh, I believe you go up from here, and... No. Uh, almost there. Oh, wait, here we go. I found... Oh, jeez. Hello, hello, Mr. Oh, God. This this isn't good. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm getting away, I'm getting away, I'm getting away, and then I'm going to eat. Please don't follow me, please don't follow me, please don't follow me. Oh, damn it! <laughs> How? How and why? How? Uh, how and why? How and why? Uh, so that was my first death of the series in episode 3. I, uh, I, honestly, I deserve that. Oh, I need to get away from the creeper. Okay, he blew up anyway. Sort of threw the way into my house, but whatever. You know, I can I can live with that, I guess. Um, yeah, we need to go. We need to go back in there. Uh, it'll be easy to get out because we were so close to the end and we got shot by the skeletons. Uh, honestly, I should have just evaded, went straight back up the hole. But I figured I could get away from them, then come back and kill them because I don't. I like to kill everything in Minecraft. Like there shouldn't have to be the evade. I should just have to kill everything. But apparently, that's not how it works in the real world. So I'm just gonna head back in there, get our stuff, uh, then work some more on the house because I want to get the house working properly. You know, that's that's something really cool that I want to be going on properly. And uh, as you can see, this is the thing we just were at. Actually, we might have to go kill the skeletons because they might still be there. Uh, let's go see if they are. Come on, please don't, please don't. Okay, that name from them are there. Uh, that's a good thing, you know. It's it's nice not to have that happen to you because I don't know if there was stuff there, they'd probably just kill me again, and I'd get really upset because I've st I still got half my levels. Like I'm level five again, uh, which is a little bit of a downgrade. It's in fact a pretty big downgrade, sort of, but. On the other hand, I have my health. Uh, I, I wish there was a health in Minecraft. Like, every now and then you just randomly got disease. Like, that's a horrible idea, don't get me wrong, but I still wish it happened. Like, uh, there's a lot of horrible ideas I wish it happened. I, I feel like I'm more of a make funny things happen sort of guy than, you know, make good things happen. Because, you know, laughter, laughter is the best medicine, so, you know, wh why do we need free healthcare when laughter is the best medicine? Just, uh,. You know, the government should just fund for some uh, comedy programs on TV. It makes a lot of sense. I don't know, even know what I'm saying anymore. So we're just going to try and get back to this place. Um, it's going to be a little tricky to climb this, but whatever. Uh, actually, now we have shears, we can actually go... Ooh, let me up, sir. Uh, we can actually just go ahead and uh, shear these vines. Uh, in fact, let's shear some vines right now to take with us, because... I don't know, vines are something I've never had the experience of having in survival, so I guess it'd be nice to have some now. Uh, we'll take these because they don't seem to be serving any use. Uh, do you get two when you... No, you just get one. So go one, two, three, four. And we can just do this like this because they have no use anyway because they're just lying on nothing. Uh, so now I've got myself uh, six vines, which they're, they're a really cool inventory item, I must say. Like, they just look strange and funny and stuff. Uh, also, over here, we can take leaves. I don't know if to take jungle leaves or just regular leaves, so I'll just uh, leave that for now. Uh, but I want to have like a leaf pathway backed up by a bit of wood. Uh, you'll, you'll see what I'm going to do in a minute. It's, it'll be nice. Uh, as well as having wooden planks, so it's like a full-on pathway. It's it's going to be nice, It's basically what I'm saying here. Uh, I'll make a tiny little wooden stack here so I can get up by myself, because that's, that's always a nice thing to do. And then we can jump into the house thing, except I can't because there's a wood block here. Uh, so I guess I'll just have to place another dirt block over here. Jump in, and finally I am back at the home. It is a nice place. There is things happening everywhere. And also we'll uh, put all this coal in the furnace for now, I guess. I can't actually put it all in there for some reason. Oh, this because that, that's charcoal. This is coal. Uh, we'll turn the charcoal then into a torch because it's, you know, sort of wasting space. And then we'll cook up all of the iron ore that I have because I need to make... Uh, I, I guess we'll cook up the gold first and we'll make the axe out of the iron we have. Uh, except we don't have any sticks, so we need to chop down a tree to get the sticks. It's a never-ending loop. Ah. Actually, we'll chop down this one because I need to chop up woods. Uh, then what we'll do is we'll be clever and we'll do some magic stuff with our... Actually, no, wait, we need to turn this into jungle wood planks, which then needs to turn into sticks, which then needs to turn into an axe. Aha! And now we can go to the chest, deposit all our unneeded stuff, our one cobblestone, our sweet seeds, our string, uh, just all the sort of stuff that I might need at some point, but for now it's just not worth having on me. Uh, also, at some point I will make the melon farm, but it's not a new thing, I do it every world, so it's something I'll just do when I have the time and feel like doing something. Uh, but yeah, let's go upwards for this thing. 
make some magic happen, real real magic, not fake magic, real magic, and then uh, chop that down. And this one has also grown, I think that grew in front of my eyes, because I do not remember them being there about 10 seconds ago. Or maybe I've just, maybe I'm growing old and senile just these days. Th that suck, but whatever. Uh, bad things happen, you you deal with them. Also, I'm really liking this iron axe, it's, it's getting the job done pretty well. Like, uh, more well than I would figure, like, you'd, you'd figure it'd be like, not just, uh, I don't even know what you'd figure, but it's like almost diamond level, like I think it's the closest tool to its diamond counterpart, so that's a, that's a nice little thing to just have randomly happen, or it's not really randomly, but that's a nice just thing. Uh, so yeah, now we can go ahead and we can start on the second layer. Actually what I want to do is uh, have one of these go all the way up to 11, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, because uh, it's going to be a complete cube this one, and then it's going to lead to the other places. So this is just going to be the starting house. Uh, for all of the stuff, it's not going to be the actual place where everything finishes. Uh, our wheat still hasn't grown yet, which is a, it's a little concerning. Or maybe time just, you know, I think too much time has passed while I've been in that place. Because it's been a long, long time, man. Uh, <laughs> we'll also make the entrance way a little bit more. Uh, should we have it like this? Actually, I'm probably going to have uh, a thing there. No, that looks bad. I don't like the look of that. Uh, I'll probably, I'm not sure what block I'll have here. It might be an interesting block, it might not be. But there'll definitely be a block there, so I'll go another two up here. And then I will decide what to do from there in a minute because, or not in a minute, next time I have wood because I can't really decide right now. But for now we need to go chop down an oak tree. Uh, we could grow our own oak tree with, uh, you know, the oak tree saplings we have. But I think it's just an easier solution to find one uh, that looks like it's choppable, you know, because that's a word. I'm pretty sure choppable is a word. Actually, I'm not, I'm not sure in the slightest. I'm actually quite sure it's not a word, but it's, it's a word now, damn it. Uh, so yeah, we'll head over to the non-jungly part of the jungle biome because, uh, I guess, yeah, jungly is a word, by the way. Um, because that's where you're going to find the oak trees. Uh, in fact, that looks like an oak... No, that's a jungle tree. I I don't know how you really distinguish them. I know their woods are different coloured, but I'm not the not the sort of expert that can distinguish between those sorts of things. Um, this is an oak tree I am not sure in the slightest. Okay, if it doesn't have vines on, it's an oak tree. No, if it doesn't have vines or coca beans, it's an oak tree. Where are these oak trees at? You know, well, let's just chop down these ones that are just mini and sink on the ground. Uh, find out what those are. So, this was a jungle tree. Is it, oh, see, they're one high jungle trees. I don't, I don't understand them. They're, they're not making any sense to me. Like, uh, I, I don't know how you get a one high tree, but whatever. Um, okay, this is an oak tree. I can tell that much for sure. So we'll chop down all of this wood. Uh, since we only need it for planks, we can chop down pretty well. Get some real nice stuff done there, and uh, then we'll have ourselves our house going properly. Um, is that all of the tree, or is there more to be done? Uh, so we just need to look for trees that are sort of a different colour to the rest, like. Uh, See, there's one over here as well, another oak tree. Uh, I, I I didn't think it'd be that easy to tell. Like, I usually have problems telling the difference between the two, but I can actually tell quite. T I can actually tell quite clearly now, and it's it's pretty nice. So, I think I'll chop down these two trees, and then another tree, and then I should be done. Uh, I might also chop down a jungle tree because uh, I don't know they look really fun to chop down, or maybe I'm just a a sad or something. I was going to say Sado Mesh, I can't say the word, uh, but and it's, it's, I'm definitely not that, just wanting to chop down trees, I'm a I'm a lumberjack, that's what I am, Toy Cat the Lumberjack. Also just a fun one, I probably should mention this at the start of the series, but because um, uh, in Skin Pack 5 there's a cat skin, now I'm a cat with an axe, look at me, I just look like I'm going to murder you in your sleep, it's it's pretty mean man, uh, <laughs> but yeah besides that, um, Let's try and get ourselves this piece of oak wood that's evading us. Um, and now we can head back to the spawn, or back to the house, I guess. Uh, actually, we need to chop down a jungle tree just for, you know, just for, you know, good measure. And that, that's not really it at all. Uh, I'm actually a little lost. I think that's, yeah, that's my house up there. So we'll head back there. Uh, let's see if there's any jungle trees that look like they need chopping down. Uh, this this one does. This Let's try and chop down this tree. So the best way to chop down a jungle tree, I'm figuring is uh, to just go from the top down, or... I'm not sure how to do this. You know, let's just chop off the uh, side branches, because they're they're not needed at all. They just sort of get in the way. So I'm actually doing the tree a favour. I'm sort of pruning down its other branches. Um, we'll also shear the jungle uh, thingamajigs, the jungle leaves. Is this, these are jungle leaves, right? Uh, yeah, they're jungle leaves. So we'll, we'll shear all of these, just take them all with us. Uh, because they're just getting in the way as well, you know, doing doing the tree a favour, really. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we need a lot of these eventually anyway, so I figure we'll chop them down now, since they're going to disappear anyway. And uh, then we'll take the wood that's just lying around. And then we'll head back to the house, pull it on, and it'll be real nice and stiff, maybe. 
Who knows? I, I don't know. Uh, so, boom, 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 boom. All for me. Yes, all for me indeed. So, how many jungle leaves did we get there? 33. Wow, that's... It's it's really easy to get jungle leaves. I guess the one cost is the shears are pretty hard to get. But still, it's it's still pretty easy in my opinion. Uh, but what do I know? I'm just a toy cat on the internet. That's He says words and stuff. It doesn't make any sense. Toy cats don't speak. They're... But cats can't speak, and neither can toy, and toy cats make even less, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, but toy cats make even less sense than that, right? So you, you think about that. Do, do you even exist? Are you watching this video? Are you just, uh, are you imagining this right now? Like, uh, I don't know. It'd be a pretty cool dream to have a dream about IBX toy cat. I dream about having IBX toy cat dreams all the time. Did that make sense? I think it did. Um... I actually had a pretty interesting dream this night, where I was like, uh, I had this really cool idea for like a uh, thingamajig, so I needed lots of capes, and I can't remember why I need lots of capes, so I need to collect capes for some reason, and it was just like, you know what, that's, that's one way to do things, and uh, that's the way I'm going to do things from now on. Uh, so I've got myself 9 jungle wood and 29 oak wood, uh, we're 26 minutes in, so I'm going to end it for now, and I'm going to build the floor and stuff in the next episode, and then uh, I, I may also go out and get some more wood for that as well. Who knows what I'll do? You know what I'll do, because actually you don't know in the slightest, but you'll find out next episode on the IBX Toy Cat Tele 12 Let's Play. Uh, spirit, sh be sure to remember to like, uh, share, etc. the video, because I've been really appreciating the support, but I can only continue doing the videos if you guys can support them. Uh, so thank you very much to everyone who has been supporting them, because that's very appreciated. Anyway, thanks for watching, and goodbye.